you don't know which officer is going to show up. You don't know how they're going to react. You don't know how the script works. The script is non-existent for a lot of people, and that's where the problem is. It's a dice roll a lot of the time. It's just one of those moments where like your mind just starts like racing. How, like what road is this gonna go down? I feel like at this point you just like never really know. My parents, I forget what they were doing, but I was standing outside. I was seven or eight and I saw the police beat up a man. I remember not asking my parents about it because I had the very sort of visceral sense that this was just how things were. I think of all the other people who were doing nothing wrong and still got in a situation. It's just the fear of knowing that I can do a million things that would seem harmless to me or anybody else and that it could end my life. You just look around and realize that the playing field is not level. I definitely struggle with whether it's even fair or ethical to bring a black child into this world with things being the way that they are. It's a gamble to live in general, but I think there's a big difference between chance things that can happen and then there, that there's people out here who will target your child. You know, they might be part of this ongoing theater of violence um, without, again, without repercussion. I don't know if I have that in me. I can't recall a certain moment where I was like, oh, you know, now this happened and so now as a result, like, I'm scared. I think just probably witnessing things over time, and I don't think these are necessarily new things, but with technology, we just see them a lot more instantly, and it's definitely intensified. I love to walk late at night, and while I like to think that I present as pretty unassuming and non-threatening, there's always a chance that someone could not see me that way. Stay safe, but also like don't let it like change who you are. I don't want them to make us be afraid to love and to have families. All cops need to play by the same rules, and those rules need to be that everyone is treated equally. That's what's at the core of all of this.